What's up my wonderful peeps? Sports of the Bone here again man. Shout out to all the viewers, the subscribers and the followers. So yesterday I was actually online and I saw an article published by Sportsmax. And what it was saying, you know, was that West Indian legend currently Ambrose has applied to the ECB, that's the England Cricket Board, um, for the position of elite pace bowling um, coach. Now, if Kurtley Ambrose is successful with his application and get the job, then you know that he will be in charge of the elite pace bowlers as it regards to England cricket team. He will also be in charge of the um, emerging and upcoming pace bowlers. He will also be in charge of pace bowlers for the England A team. And you can just imagine that as soon as this was made known or was confirmed and posted on social media yesterday, Fans around the, the Caribbean, you know, they took to social media and they didn't hold back. Some of them were in agreement saying that boy, you know, it's good for the, it's good for the sport. Some were saying that boy, he needs to work with the West Indies um, cricket team. So I'm just going to dive into this story just to see what is happening. Now, when quizzed about the, the application, Ambrose confirmed by saying, Yes, I have applied and I am even confident. So just paraphrasing based on what I saw there, Ambrose confirmed that, you know, he did apply and he's confident saying that boy, whatever he's doing, he's always confident in it. You know, so he's confident he's going to get the job. The former lethal pace bowler also went on to say that, you know, it was always in his intention to give back to the sport. You know, the sport that would have given him so many things throughout his career as a cricketer and now as somebody that works part-time as a commentator. So he's basically looking to go into coaching where he can help some youngsters. And you will remember that in 2016 when West Indies actually won the T20 World Cup, Ambrose was a part of the bowling um, staff. He worked as a bowling coach then. So there is some amount of international experience there under his belt. Ambrose also worked um, as an assistant coach with the Guyana Amazon Warriors franchise in the CPL. So we would have seen that there is some amount of experience under his belt as it regards to coaching. You know, I can understand why persons are saying that boy, Ambrose should be in the Caribbean working with us. But at the end of the day, a man just have to go where the work is. And you will remember that Ambrose isn't the first West Indian legend to go and work internationally overseas because you will remember that Courtney Walsh also would have worked with the Bangladesh cricket team. So Ambrose isn't the first man where this is concerned. And current West Indies coach um, Phil Simmons who would have also played for West Indies. Now it would be good to see somebody like a currently Ambrose working with such an elite um, team. And I can understand why West Indies um, supporters would be split down the middle whether or not you should have even applied but at the end of the day when you look at a person's job a person's work our passion and um, love for the game as supporters can't really can't really outweigh a person wanting to do a job or wanting to fu to fulfill something that they would have set as a goal because at the end of the day we are just on the sideline watching the game and the man would have um, decided that here what I want to give back to the sport and if I am not able to give back to the sport where my country or my team is concerned then I am probably going to go overseas to do such. So we can't even knock him too hard based on my opinion. You know and as I said I would have seen a lot of posts saying that boy he should stay in the region and help to develop the game and thing like that. But at the end of the day if you are not being utilized within your region then you are going to branch out, you are going to reach out and try and get a um, to try and get a um, job elsewhere and at the end of the day this will benefit um, Kirtley Ambrose because he will be working with an elite team, a team that is usually well organized, their board is usually well organized we don't really hear them washing their dirty linen in the public because anywhere you take it every team is going to have political issues so more than likely there is political problem where the ECB is concerned but at least they don't regularly wash it in the public like how we know Oh, our cricket board um, do you know you know and that is it if you are not being utilized within your region you have to branch out and fans will probably remember an interview that was done by um, 
Courtney Walsh. I think it's a couple of years ago before he, he went over there to coach in Bangladesh. And basically what he was saying is that boy, you know, he wasn't afforded a coaching position in West Indies and he's always here and want to coach. But, um, the, the, you know, whether he didn't apply or whether they didn't reach out to him or whatever. But, you, you know, basically he was saying that he was here as a coach and he was ready and waiting. But Bangladesh came calling so he had to, to just um, move out and try and, and, and get some work done. And we would have seen where we would have gotten some amount of experience there with Bangladesh and would have also worked with a couple of T20 franchise. You know, so at the end of the day, all we can do is just wish our Caribbean man currently Ambrose the best. Hopefully he will get the job. Hopefully we will go over there and be successful. And, you know, at the end of the day, he will probably return to West Indies cricket to help us in some capacity. You understand? And if it is the case that he doesn't get the job, then the West Indies um, cricket board should use this as an opportunity to rope in, rope in Mr. Ambrose into the setup. That is if um, him not get the job, you understand? But if him get the job, we want him to go over there and be successful, uh, make a name for himself where coaching is concerned. And as I said, if it is the case that he, him not get the job, then West Indies should use this as an opportunity to grab him and to pull him in as a part of the, um, the coaching staff where our elite pace bowling is concerned. But these though are just my views. No, as always, what say you? Please remember to go in the comment, keep it respectful and let us know what you think about the topic. Sports of the bone, keeping you informed. Please remember to like, share, leave us a comment if you have not yet subscribed. Remember to subscribe to the channel. I'm out.